Let's now take a look at how some of the new technologies can help the environment, improve operator efficiency, and of course, save the contractor money. Our direction that we're looking to is really for electric powered machines. I think with the technology that's now coming forward in um, batteries, and power generation, power storage, it's going to be a very short period of time before we see that in the, in the Lugong range of products. So electric powered excavator is a dot on our radar screen. We are gearing up to use Stage 5 diesel engines. They will come into play through 2019, 2020. We're working very close with our joint venture partner Cummings. We produce with Cummings in China and in Europe we source all of our engines from Cummings in the UK and also in North America. So they introduced uh, hybrid technologies uh, many, many years ago and we are already at the fourth generation of uh, hybrid machines. How to say that the interest for customers is huge because we can say that we are saving 30% of, of fuel consumption, which is huge for customers. Maybe one day we might go fully electric, let's say. We see for the future that we're definitely moving into battery and electric driven machines. Uh, especially, for example, in Norway, the government is really pushing, let's say, the construction uh, industry to, towards battery-driven, electric-driven machines. We are incorporating technology from other Hitachi Group companies, like uh, the train, electric sequencing trains. We are doing that in order to reduce the total cost of ownership for the customer. Hybrid machines are much more efficient because they are consuming less fuel and at the end of the day are much more operators friendly. We're looking at Sani to make our machines more fuel efficient, so hybrid is uh, definitely one of the options we are, going, we are looking into it, and we're already performing tests in, uh, in China, and we'll also quite soon do that here in uh, Europe and in America. We're already working on the stage five engines, our machines until uh, six ton are stage five ready. Machines above that uh, tonnage will uh, also be quite soon uh, stage five. We have just commenced the Stage 5 project to bring in the low emissions regulations, which is obviously good for the environment, um, good for human beings as well. We are keeping track of electrification. We believe that it, the long-term future, um, when battery technology has taken a few generations forward from now, it will be quite an exciting future um, for our products. I think the changes that we're going to see is the continued uh, use of telematics, the internet of things, all connectivity, helping to get a fully controlled worksite that links the machine to its owners, to the site surveyors, to the service mechanics. Looking towards the future, our Stage 5 emissions regulations is probably part of our short-term window. Going beyond that, electrification is obviously quite exciting in the very long term. Um, other opportunities are Internet of Things and um, machine communication between each other. Those are very big buzzwords at the moment, but it's actually turning those into real things for our customers is what we are currently working on. We do have some expectations for the future and we are investing a lot on electrification. Again, Hitachi is a company that is very advanced on um, electric powertrains, like from trains. Therefore, we do have the background to apply this kind of technology in construction machinery. So we are testing several technologies within our company and we are looking the perfect moment to introduce them to the market.